So I want to welcome everyone to the Charlie dinner, as we call it. It's been going on for many a year, except for last season. Um, after my son Charlie died of a heroin overdose uh, in 2009, it is now, um, the family got together and decided we wanted to create some sort of a memorial fund. Um, we had been really, uh, the whole family had been helped by Gosnold and um, we'd done their you know, family outreach programs and Charlie of course had been in treatment and we really wanted to figure out a way to help, mostly help families because back then there really wasn't a whole lot of education and support and outreach for families and you know the ripple effect is so huge. So we created and raised money for the Charlie Wilkerson and Dad Memorial Fund and um, came up with the idea of doing this dinner for families as a way to get everyone together at the holidays and hopefully relax and enjoy and be able to share stories and hopefully get a little inspiration for the season and for just continuing on. And um, I just really feel doubly sorry for people now because it's really only gotten so much more challenging for everyone since then and it was so challenging then it's hard to really for me to even imagine what it, you know, how tough it is for um, people suffering the substance use disorder and their families so our family is just really thrilled to be able to offer you know this little something to take everyone's minds off of things and that's why we did it and that's why we're welcoming people again today to enjoy um, I'm Jocelyn Joel. I was Jocelyn Wilkerson, Charlie's sister, and um, we're sorry we can't be there this year in person. Uh, actually, Charlotte was going to attend for the first time. My daughter, my oldest daughter, and we're terribly sorry to miss that for her and to just see all of you again because it's such a special time for us. And uh, I'll let my daughter introduce herself and say hi to all of you too. I'm Charlotte, um, Charlie's niece, and I never got to meet him, but I'm sure he would be a wonderful person, and I'm sorry we couldn't attend, as she said, um, and I hope to meet him someday in a new life. Well, mostly I want to welcome everyone here, and I reiterate what others have said, that I really regret we're not able to be there this year. But mostly my message is to the all three beautiful components that work towards love and life, and that is to the families who have the strength and courage to come out and join support groups and seek support of other people and offer support back and also to the people in recovery for all the strength and courage and hard work that takes. And also to the staff at Gosnold because it's rewarding work, supporting life, but it's also tough when you lose life. So I just extend um, holiday wishes and the warmth of love to everyone.